based on bubbles, it's based on fraud. You've got giant welfare states that even dwarf us per capita in Europe. You've got demographic uh, cliffs as we go into the second quadrant or begin to approach the middle of the wave of the retirement of baby boomers all over the Western world. Harry Dent's been coming on the show about three, four years, and he's the best-selling uh, author of The Demographic Cliff and the editor of the free newsletter, Economy and Markets. And, of course, he founded uh, Dent Research, an economic forecasting firm specializing in demographic trends. His mission is helping people understand change using exciting new research developed from years of hands-on business experience. Uh, he also headed up a division uh, for Bain Capital, uh, and um, has done a lot of other important work as well. I'm not going to get into all his degrees, but he has an MBA from Harvard Business School and worked as, again, for Bain as a strategy consultant for Fortune 100 companies. He's also the CEO of several entrepreneurial growth companies and a new venture investor. And HarryDentResearch.com is his main website, uh, but at HarryDent.com forward slash Alex Jones, he's offering deals on his book and a free chapter, HarryDent.com forward slash Alex Jones. And I wasn't even aware of this till they just walked in and told me. He's just already a regular guest. We love getting him on. Uh, he's also, I guess, sponsoring InfoWars today. Got some banners up there promoting his new book, so we appreciate him supporting the broadcast as well. Um, but I'll just throw that out there uh, that people can also follow the banners to his website at InfoWars.com. But I got to tell you, I mean, you've got all these different economists, all these different investors. You, 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 you see them all over the news. Last year, about six months ago, we saw Donald Trump come out and say the big crash is coming. Uh, he's kind of the canary in the coal mine when he finally starts saying it. But most real economists say something big's coming. Well, a lot of them say it's going to be inflation, maybe even hyperinflation because of all the QE unlimited and the race to the bottom with all the money printing worldwide, not just by the dollar. The problem is, then you've got uh, other demographics showing that there's going to be less demand, more oil and gas discovered, and so prices are going to plunge. And I wish we had the, the staff to do it, but I mean, you can go back to the 10 interviews or so the last three years. Three years ago, he was predicting by 2015, 2016, and he has the graphs he sent us again today. We'll pull some of those up and show you the graphs he made. He's been using for four or five years. It's in his last best-selling book, New York Times bestseller, that right around this time it would start. Demographic cliff, people retiring. More old people than young people. We aborted all our kids. We didn't have kids. Okay, fine. We'll, we will be inherited by the third world. That is our trendy wish. That is the way it works. There's his uh, oil uh, graphic that he's been putting out for at least I first read his book four years ago and then got him on about three and a half years ago. So I guess I've been seeing him use this for four years, three or four years. But there it is. He has his oil graph, WTI crude, 98, 2016. He has it going down, uh, going back a few months ago. And that's what happened. And he's got it going down even more into 2020. Uh, we've got Bloomberg out saying it take five years to rebound. He says it won't rebound. Well, don't let me put words in his mouth. He just made a lot of predictions that have come true so far. That's why he's a best-selling author. People want to read what he has to say. I'm just glad he's here with us today to go through all this. So, Harry Dent, uh, I got to tell you, three years ago, I agreed with a lot of what you're saying, but I just could not have imagined $40 a barrel oil, but it's headed that way and lower. Thank you for coming on with us. Yeah, yeah, you're right, Alex. I mean, we've said for years that oil would end up at ten to twenty dollars a barrel. Right now, we have broken uh, recently out of a long trading range sideways between eighty dollars and one hundred and fifteen dollars, and the next support is at thirty-two. I think we're going to see that this year, maybe within months, maybe within weeks. And 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 the thing about this is that falling oil prices. Everybody, you know, most economists say, "Oh, it's good for the consumer." Well, of course it is. We save maybe two dollars a day at lower oil prices, but it's going to burst one of the biggest bubbles we've had recently: the fracking bubble. We were told we we're going to be energy independent. We got this great fracking revolution. It's just a bubble industry without. 5% junk bond rates, the lowest we've ever seen in history, normally 8 to 10% for those type of high-risk lending. Um, and without $100 plus oil prices, fracking doesn't work. So fracking is dead. That's a million jobs. That's $980 billion in investment that's going to go bad and a half a trillion dollars in debt. So economists 
for ignoring this fracking bubble burst, just like they ignored the housing bubble and the subprime crisis in 2008. I mean, that's another chart I have here, where if you look at the subprime bubble that, that, that grew from like 2000 to 2005 to six, this high yield debt is now the new bubble where companies are borrowing money for high risk investments cheap, courtesy of the Fed's free money, falling out of the sky, and this has created a bubble that's going to burst. I know that, you know, I've been telling you, Alex, for years now, we, we've got a bubble going to burst. We, we've got demographics only going the wrong direction in more and more countries around the world. Debt levels even higher than they were in 2007 and eight when the last bubble burst. Everything is set. We just need a trigger. I think this is the trigger, and the markets are ignoring it. That's well, their you predicted the 2008 uh, crash. You predicted this with oil, and I'm just going from memory. I first interviewed you a few times over the phone, like four or five years ago. Then you hadn't been on for a few years. Started getting you on, I think 2013, 2014 again. But you did make those predictions accurately. People did roll their eyes. I mean, I respected your view because you've been right so much, but it was hard to believe. Now it's starting to happen. Uh, when did you first start predicting oil? would go down in 2015 oh uh, we, we said that back in the great depression ahead and in, in uh 2008 uh you know one of the things alex you know we look at demographic cycles which we can project accurately i mean we know when the average person spends the most money on toilet paper or camping equipment and they spend the most money overall at age 46 and the most affluent people spend the most money at age 53 which is this year so the average household peaked in 2007 we predicted that 20 years ago the most affluent households that are still spending peak this year so does spending on automobiles everybody's saying automobiles are doing better than ever you watch the next couple of years they're going to go off a cliff germany has the steepest decline of any major country in the world much like Japan in the 90s. We were the only one to see that coming in the late 80s because we look at demographics, but we also look at any credible cycles and commodity prices are one of the most predictable cycles over time. They peak every 29 to 30 years like a clock. That's what we've been saying since 2008. Commodity prices are peaking. They're going to decline not for a few years, but well into the early 2020s. And that's when we said oil in particular was going to go back to the lows in late 90s, early 2000s, between 10 and $20 a barrel. So, so yeah, it is crashing, as we said. Um, it will go lower. I think you won't see that 10 to $20 maybe for a few years, but I think you are going to see 32 to 40 this year, and, and again, maybe within months. And, and, and again, it's not a good thing. When oil crashed, from 147 to 32 in 2008, a recession followed for the whole next year. So, so that's what we see. Yes, it's good long term for consumers, but in the short term, it is going to kill a lot of jobs. It's going to trigger debt defaults. High yield bond rates are going to start to spike up. They already have. They've gone from five to seven percent. Uh, the the junk bonds for energy and fracking companies have gone from five and a half to ten percent recently. So, so this whole this is the trigger for the next debt bubble bursting and so economists don't see this they think oh everything's okay the fed will bail everything out you can't bail everything out and you can't cure a debt crisis with more debt and that's what the fed's trying to do well i mean zimbabwe successfully cured debt with debt and so did weimar germany yeah exactly yeah you, you in history when you try to cure debt with debt, you end up uh either in a uh, an inflationary blowout and or a deflationary crash and, and we see and we've been saying consistently deflationary like leadership and a lot of very smart people who understand the debt crisis is unsustainable we've been saying no this ends in deflation and all we've seen europe's worried about deflation u.s is worried about deflation commodity prices are collapsing older people are deflationary young people cost everything to raise old people downsize everything we're deflationary and debt deleveraging and it will end up deleveraging we're gonna have to write off a lot of debt a lot of student loans subprime auto loans subprime because it's impossible to prop up the debt it has to be written off has to be written off ultimately either through a crash or if the government were smart they would orchestrate a chapter 11 reorganization especially of our private debt that's what they could do they don't want to just let a depression but happen. no one wants to preside over that and they want to keep gambling exactly. till the casino burns down now there's smoke in the casino they can see flames the smoke detectors are going off but they just tell us everything's fine yeah, everybody wants it to happen later. Nobody, no central banker, no president, no prime minister anywhere in the world 
wants to have the next great depression. And that's what debt deleveraging is. Every depression in history has followed a major debt bubble. And that depression and that deflation in prices is because we have debt deleveraging. We're destroying money. Financial assets are deleveraging, destroying money. We overproduce in a bubble. That's right. Stay there. I want to hear about the next shoe to drop. Is China the time bomb? Hey, sorry I'm running late. I had to stop and get my vitamins for the month. I got mine in the mail yesterday from DiscountNutritionShop.com. So I'm here, totally on time. <laughs> DiscountNutritionShop.com? Yep, they're a lifesaver in more ways than one. They have all the nutritional supplements you need, the major brands you know. Plus, you can save up to 10%. Write down this number, 888-908-4548. Huh? 888-908-4548. Or just go to DiscountNutritionShop.com. Mom, I can't do my math homework. I just don't get it. I hate math. <sighs> I've always tried to be a good mother, but when it came to Jamie's math, I was at a loss. Then a friend told me about Math Made Easy DVDs. Concepts are simplified in an easy way to follow and review, and students can learn at their own pace in the convenience of home. Listen, in the frustration, call Math Made Easy. Call now, 1-800-USA-MATH. That's 1-800-872-6284. Or visit us at mathmadeeasy.com. The experts are clear. Sunlight, purified water, healthy non-GMO food, and having a good attitude is essential to a healthy immune system. But I go further with Super Nascent Iodine X2 from InfoWarsLife.com. 50% stronger than our original and revolutionary nascent iodine formula, coming from a deep earth crystal source that no other supplier has. Most other forms of iodine come from seaweed in areas plagued by Fukushima and other contaminants. Not our iodine. It comes from over 200 hundred million year old crystal salt deposits and is tested and proven to be completely pure. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today. See the informational videos. Read the information they're compiled. And for a limited time, when you use promo code NOW at checkout, you get an additional 5% off the entire family of InfoWarsLife.com products. Secure your Survival Shield X2 today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. American gardeners and fellow patriots make the right choice with your money, time, and your family food supply. Choose 100% pure heirloom seeds in the Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com. Why spend more? The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com is only $37.95 and includes 20 varieties of pure, hardy, easy-to-grow heirloom seeds. Yes, only $37.95. That's 70% less than our competitors. You could buy three Survival Seed Vaults for less than one of theirs. The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com includes detailed planting and seed saving instructions and ship same day. Plus, all orders over $49 ship free. MyPatriotSupply.com is American owned by patriots like you. Passionate about freedom and preparedness. Call now, 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Or discover more emergency preparedness items when you order at MyPatriotSupply.com. Choose the original. Choose the Survival Seed Vault at MyPatriotSupply.com. Managing your business and customers isn't easy, huh? Snapforce Customer Relationship Software may be just what you need. Snapforce CRM is a software solution that helps you manage everything important about your customers, from sales to marketing to service and support. All of your customer information is right there at your fingertips for easy access. It's time to take control of your business in a snap. Get your free trial at snapforce.com. That's S-N-A-P-F-O-R-C-E.com. Snapforce.com. <gasps> hey, Boomer! I learned in school today that 60% of our bodies are made of water. Good thing we have the Berkey system. It's the cleanest, best water ever. Mom says it's because the Berkey's filtration system cleans out the bad stuff and leaves only pure, delicious water. I know, right? You love it, too! Yeah, I'm thirsty, too. Let's go get some. Get Berkey clean water by calling 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Or visit GoBerkey.com. I hear the train coming. It's rolling around the bit. And I Alex Jones here back live. I did a satire video, and people in the comments don't seem to understand that, even though it says satire at InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Video Alex Jones retirement announced. And it's a satire video. If you want to see it, I think it's pretty funny. <laughs> it's causing a whole new conspiracy. It's ridiculous. 
Uh, but that's up on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. If you go to uh, HarryDent.com forward slash Alex Jones, uh, you can uh, subscribe for free to the newsletter. Or you can also read Chapter 10, The China Disaster Ahead, absolutely free uh, there on the website, harrydent.com forward slash Alex Jones. We appreciate him doing that for our listeners. There's also harrydentresearch.com. This is a short segment, Harry, long segment coming up. I'd like to give the number out if it's okay with you and let folks uh, ask some questions at 800-259-9231, 800-259-9231 of Mr. Dent. But so you accurately... In your book, 2008 or 2007, predicted what happened then. You predicted that in this graph that by 2015 or a little bit before, we'd see oil start plunging. Uh, how will that affect the economy? I want to finish up with that. And then other big shoes to drop. Where does all this go? How do people protect themselves? And then you talk about China could be the detonator. Do we see a collapse quickly or is it slowly or we just don't know? Well, you know, Alec, I really do think this oil price fall is the trigger. All it takes a trigger. I mean, the markets have been acting like there's no risk in the world. You, you got civil wars everywhere all over the Middle East and Russia and Ukraine and, and problems in Africa and, and, and falling commodity prices, all this sort of stuff. The markets are ignoring this. They're just thinking, well, the Fed will just bail us out or the Fed will just print more money. And so it takes a trigger, something to get the markets to see, oh my gosh, there is risk in the world. And then the antennas go up. So I don't, I think China is is the last thing to hit and the hardest china we don't we don't even know bubbles we don't even know debt compared to china china's debt in the last 14 years has grown um nine times as fast as u.s debt in the 14 years into our bubble peak and debt in 2008. china has moved 220 million people from rural areas to urban areas with absolutely no skills, and they're having them build stuff for nobody. They got 30% vacant condos, 30 to 40% excess capacity in cement, steel, aluminum, all the basic industry. They've, they've got bridges to nowhere, empty malls and office buildings. This is the craziest economy ever. The greatest debt bubble, the greatest overbuilding bubble, and yet clueless economists, and I understate this, clueless. Economists say that this is the new state-driven model of capitalism. There is no way governments, crony capitalism from the top down can make better decisions than a bottoms-up free market system with some good rules. There's no way, and they never have. Russia proved this, but no, everybody thinks China's the new model. China has created, mark my words, the greatest bubble in modern history, and it will not be a soft landing when they finally go down. It's going to be the biggest real estate collapse, the greatest debt bubble. These 220 million uh, people with no skills in urban areas are going to be trapped with no jobs, and they can't even go back to their farms because they paved them over with empty condos. At least they'll be able to squat in, in these empty condos. China is, is going to be the biggest disaster in history, and it's going to prove, finally, to economists who don't know better because they never, never had a, 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 never run a business, never had sex, don't understand consumers, anything. It's going to prove to them that capitalism works better as long as you have some good, simple rules. So I think this is going to be a useful lesson, but it's going to be painful. So I think we start this crisis because these fracking companies go under and that, and that kills jobs and debt defaults. And then there's another $6 trillion to emerging country companies from U.S. debt and bonds. That's going to default next. And then it just keeps going until we now have, we have another housing crisis. And another Is that why Homeland Security is militarizing police, deploying thousands of armored vehicles and, and basically you know, tell, telling the military prepare for martial law is that they think it's going to get out of hand? Well, you know, if they're smart, they would. I mean, I do fear civil unrest uh, in this country, and I can't even imagine the civil unrest when 220 million people are just basically left on the list. These people are not registered citizens in these cities. They're only registered in their rural areas, and like I said, they can't. Most of them can't go back there. So, so I. Uh, and if China implodes, if Japan's already collapsing. The West is trying to bankrupt Russia. It, it, I mean, it's. It, it, I mean, we can't export the implosion. Won't other countries imploding only make us implode? Yes, I mean that's what happened. And that's that what happened in the Great Depression when things started to go down. 
all countries all put up trade tariffs and that just hurt world trade worth. Well, what countries are doing today, they're printing money to devalue their currency and make their exports more uh, competitive. Harry did stay there. I want you to come back and break down how you see this coming together. I mean, your next production, the next big shoe to drop and phone calls straight ahead. I'm Alex Jones, Infowars.com. Stay with us. We're on the march. The empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Every year we make resolutions to lose weight and get in shape. And the truth is, it's hard. Even with diet and exercise, because of toxic food and our environment that is stressing our bodies more than ever before. Working with experts in nutrition and biochemistry, I found that super high quality nutraceuticals, in addition to my diet and exercise, were the answers that synergistically worked. I can see the drastic changes every day with the amount of weight I've lost, my increased stamina, and more of a twinkle in my eye. That's why we are now so excited to launch the InfoWars Life Resolution Pack, combining three essential formulations, oxygen-based cleanser oxy powder, the secret 12 bioavailable vitamin B12, and your choice of super female or super male vitality. Now all available at a discounted price to you and your family to bring in the new year and make 2015 a true success. That's InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. 2015 is the year to do it, and it all starts at InfoWarsLife.com. From the water table, to our soils, to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. In the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the basketball. Security alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. InfoWars building independent media operations. You let the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime Directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. It's a popular conspiracy theory talk show called InfoWars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulted. Us. Targeting of patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at infowars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative destroy Prison Planet TV. You gotta set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out. Intellectually, it's because you can feel it. Defending the Republic from enemies, foreign and domestic, it's Alex Jones. We're going to go back to our guest, talk about the next big uh, events that he sees coming. He's had really great history of being extremely accurate, so I'm listening carefully. I know you are. Harry Dent's our guest. HarryDent.com forward slash Alex Jones to find discounts on his book and a free chapter and more. And, of course, your phone calls. Uh, we've got L.A., Tony, John, Tim, Paul, and others that want to talk to Harry Dent. You'll get a chance here in about 10 minutes. I fund this operation bringing you things that I really think are high quality, that we've done research into, that are low price, great values like ProPure, G2 filters, stainless steel gravity fed, side-by-side -side comparisons in real lab tests by top firms is the best value out there and cuts out the most garbage. Everybody should be filtering their water for cooking and for drinking with all the distillates and garbage that's in the water table. Especially with fast-growing cells, if you have children, look at the cancer rates going up and things. So much of it's in the water. 
InfoWarsStore.com. All the water filters are 10% off promo code WATER. We always have that special. Okay? But in this month of January, free shipping on all the water filtration systems of ProPure. We have some other brands that are already so discounted we can't do that. But this is the best deal you'll get on high-quality gravity-fed systems and your purchase. You can see it goes right into this operation in defending every basic freedom and a Bill of Rights culture that's having an effect worldwide. So again, your investment supporting us has gotten high-quality products at good prices and funded hardcore promotion of truth and justice and freedom. Because it's ignorance that's going to let the establishment crony capitalist hold us over a barrel. So I want to thank you all for your support. Here's a great chance in the new year to get a huge discount at InfoWarsStore.com. We have up to 48% off on some of the InfoWarsLife.com products as a New Year's resolution in the resolution pack. Super male or super female vitality. Um, and of course, uh, Secret 12, uh, powerful proprietary organic vitamin B12, methylcobalamin. It's the type you inject, but this is taken in the mouth. Very absorbable, blows away the competition. And Oxy Powder, great way to start the new year. 48% off. That special ends tomorrow. Officially ends today. We're going to pull it off tomorrow afternoon. Infowarsstore.com or 888-253-3139. She got basically 24 hours to act on that, and it supports the broadcast. A win, 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 win. And scores of other great products, from ancient defense to fluoride shield uh, to lung cleanse to super high-quality organic coffee, InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. Going back to Mr. Dent, I want to give you the floor for the next five, ten minutes before we go to calls and those questions. To You've accurately, with these charts, with, with demographics, predicted so much that's happened. Tell us, past China, what else you're concerned about. Is it Germany and the EU? I don't understand these ideas out of the State Department and I've had famous spies on, folks that are involved trying to destabilize Russia. They seem to believe that if we implode Russia and implode Asia, that somehow that makes our economy better. Sure, it makes people buy our bonds, but if there's no economy, what's, how is that going to matter? From all the economics I've studied, when you have global problems and that then compounds our problems, is it good for select corporations is why they want destabilization? Or what's happening there? Yeah, no, obviously it's not good for major countries, whether it be China, Russia, um, much of Europe, to implode. I mean, we all trade with each other. This is a global economy and has been increasingly for the last 100 years, really, for the first time to that extent in history. So it's, it's, it's not good. It can be good long term. You know, I mean, it's just like right now, Saudi Arabia wants oil prices to go down. They want to knock out the frackers. They want to knock out marginal oil producers like Venezuela, Iran, and Iraq. So it makes their market share better long term. That's what Rockefeller did in the early 1900s with Standard Oil. So, so yeah, it does benefit some of these uh, challenges do a, a, a benefit certain countries longer term or companies, but it does not, it is not good for the economy near term to have any major country go down. And you're right, I, I am, we called Japan in 1988, 89. We said Japan is going to crash while the rest of the world sees the greatest boom in history in the 90s. Nobody saw that combination of events. A few people saw the boom of the 90s, very few, and nobody saw the collapse of Japan. We're saying the same thing about China. China's the next Japan. They, they've had a government-driven overinvestment thing, and they're going to collapse. But Germany, of all the countries in the world in the next eight years, from 2014 to 2022, has the steepest slide in demographic spending trends I have ever seen, ever. Worse than Japan in the 90s. Now, the, the world is looking to Germany to hold up the European Union, just as Greece, surprise, surprise, is looking at defaulting or renegotiating on their debt. And the replacing the Germans, <laughs> just to interrupt, replacing the Germans with unskilled third world labor is not going to stop that demographic cliff. No, no, it's not. Well, here, I mean, remember what I said earlier, it's the emerging world, which actually does have good demographic trends for coming decades, except for China. It's the emerging world that's getting crucified by the fall in commodity prices because most emerging countries are commodity producers and exporters. So the, the emerging markets countries are, are down 30 percent 
And while, while we're hitting new highs in our stock market and Germany's hitting new highs recently, so, so they're already underperforming. If the world implodes, they're going to they're gonna underperform even more because they're dependent on us. They are not nearly as wealthy as us. People don't realize China has, you know, one-tenth the dollar-level standard of living we do and one-fifth if you adjust for purchasing power. Okay, there. so where do you expect, this is a bold uh, challenge, where do you expect the Dow, the S&P, where do you expect the major stock market indexes to be 12 months from now? Okay, well, you know, I, I've got a chart that shows that since the correction in 2011, the only substantial correction in this bubble boom here uh, recently, is that, that we're going in a channel up. And, and, and we have a, a key turning point we're looking at in our cycles, mid to late March. The likelihood is stocks will continue to edge up and, and to about 2175 in this chart. Or we break above maybe 2300, but that's, that's 19 to 20,000 in the Dow. Think of that term. That's as high as we see things going if it gets there. And then when it falls, we have a broader pattern of higher highs and, and these bubble booms, 2000 peak, 2007 peak. And now 2014 or early 2015, the next new low is likely to be around 5,500 to 6,000 on the Dow by late 2016 to early 2017. We're going to have a bigger crash than we saw in 2008 and early 2009. Every bubble goes higher. Every crash goes lower because we're not solving the problem. We have higher debt. We have worse demographics ahead. So how could we not have a worse crash? So most economists think, oh, we'll just have a 20% correction this year and then we'll go on and on. No, we're not. We're saying the market's likely to peak by mid to late March. The, the other scenario is that oil prices just keep plummeting, although they're, they're bouncing today, but if they just keep plummeting down to 32 bucks in the next so many weeks or, or, or a couple months, stocks could, could basically fall, uh, start to fall now. Uh, and, 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 and in this channel we're talking about in this chart, if stocks, if the S&P breaks below about 1870, which is not that far down, just about 10% from the top, this, this bubble's over. And, and it's going to burst more. So I'm watching the oil price. That's the key leading indicator. My my um, preferred scenario out of all, and in, and in the short term, I'm always guessing. In the long term, we have very credible indicators. But in the short term, you have to guess. I can't predict when a tsunami is going to hit Japan or, or Putin's going to invade Crimea, all that sort of stuff. But you can look at, 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 at pattern. Sure. If you exclude wild cards, the surest thing throughout history is demographics. Yeah. That's the, well, that's the surest thing in the last century. Once we've had middle class economies, which were a product of the free market capitalist system of innovation, we didn't have a middle class, you know, before the, you know, after World War II and stuff. You know, we just had, you know, kings and peasants. That's all we had for most of history. So this is a big deal. And, and when the average person makes a lot of income and has a lot of spending power, it makes demographics more important than ever. So, yes, you're right. The economy here and in any country around the world that has any sort of somewhat free market capitalist democracy has followed demographic trends predictably. It is the best indicator. But in the short term, I can just look at, okay, here's the patterns. Here's this channel. The likelihood is we're going to keep edging up because this market just wants to go up. It's a market on crack, I call it. It's being fueled all this trillions of dollars of central banks. It's not going into lending. It's not going back to consumers or householders. It's just going into speculation. So the markets want to go up until something goes wrong. And this oil well, that was my next question, is the, the, the high-frequency trading, the flash trading, the manipulations, yep. the plunge protection team, can that beat the demographic facts that were there previously? Can they bring us into a world of true false reality, economic 1984, uh, where the real economy is dead and in a, a deflationary spiral, but... There's an inflation spiral in luxury goods in the future, and the elite just get more and more separated from the public. Yeah, well, that, that is what has been happening. They have defeated demographics. We would have gone into a Great Depression without $10 trillion of money printing from all the cent major central banks around the world. They are fighting deflation. They are fighting debt deleverage. They don't want this to happen. The problem is the tools they're using to fight it 
are creating another bubble and bubbles always burst. We've always said it's not going to be inflation that's going to be the problem because we're in a deflationary environment. The problem is going to be central banks are going to create another even bigger bubble in real estate and stocks and everything else around the world. And then that bubble is going to burst. And guess who gets hurt the most when those bubbles burst? The little guys. The rich people. It's not the little. The everyday person's already been crucified with. with okay, so I'm wrong about that. Explain that to me then because that's interesting. Who get, well, I would say the nouveau riche, the middle rich, the insider elites, they're going to make money on the rigged market on the ups and downs like a casino from my lay view. Explain to me, though, who that rich group is that gets hurt the worst. Well, you know, everybody talks about the top 20%. That's the college-educated, affluent, low employment. They're doing better than ever. But, you know, the, we I just did a report in my newsletter that – it, it's not really the 20, but if you look at the top 20%, the 10 per, top 10% made most of those gains. If you look at the top 10%, the top 1%, one-tenth of them made most of those gains. You look at the top 1%, the top 0.1%, one out of a thousand households made most of those gains. So, so things are heavily skewed towards the very rich. The problem with that, Alex, is the very rich not only own yachts and private jets that are going to be worthless and Ferraris, they own all these companies and all these financial assets that are overinflated. The average person has maybe 30, 40 grand in stocks and some bonds in their 401k plan. They get hurt when the economy goes down, when jobs and wages aren't as good, but the rich get crucified sure. when these bubbles burst. So you're saying happens. the luxury economy is going to look like a highway sign that's been yeah. shot 20 times by hillbillies with 12 gauges. Yeah, it, it is dead, just like fracking's dead. The luxury economy is dead. If you own a yacht, sell it now. If you own a private jet, sell it now. If you own a Ferrari, sell it now. If you own a $100 million dumbass condo in New York, sell it now. These people, these things are going to go down the worst. In the 1930s, real estate was not in a bubble in the Roaring Twenties. It was stocks, and it was farmland and tractors. It was a tractor bubble, if you want to really get down to it. Uh, when the bubble burst, New York went up five years after the main market in the 1929 sure. market, and it collapsed twice as much and didn't even come off the bottom. Sure, sure. Let's say uh, you know the average retiree out there you know, has a million dollars in retirement funds, let's say, uh, you know, let's say some upper middle class person, let's say some nouveau riche has $20 million in assets. What, if you had $100,000, what would you do with it? If you had $10 million, what would you do with it? If you had $100 million, what would you do with it? Just briefly, and then we'll go to calls. You know, it's, it's basically the same. In 2008, what never happened before since the 1930s, in a bubble burst, in a deflationary era, everything goes down except for cash, the highest quality bonds, like a 10-year treasury bond or a, or a German boon, you know, everything goes down. Commodities went down. Gold went down. Silver went down. Real estate went down. Small cap stocks, large cap stocks, German stocks, emerging company stocks, um, country stocks. Everything went down. The safest thing is to be in cash or very safe bonds and or if you're willing to take a little risk, you go on the short side. You maybe take 20% of your portfolio and short the S&P 500 or short the small cap index uh, if you want to make some money. But I think the, to me, to most people, I say, look, this is a bubble. It's going to be violent. Just protect the gains you've made in real estate and stocks. So it's like a hurricane. You need to board up your house. Crash. Then you can buy. So it's like a hurricane. Board up your house. Protect yeah. your assets. Emerge after. That's where the sure profits are. And here's the thing people don't get out that people say, well, I'm not making any money at zero or one or two percent. You make money when everything falls and you can buy two, three, four, five, six times as much. Exactly. As property you people can buy that million dollar Ferrari for sixty thousand dollars. You can buy that million dollar bus for a hundred thousand dollars. You can buy that five million dollar house for half a million dollars. That's exactly. what happens in a depression. That's what happens. You have to have cash because nobody's going to lend you money when you see an opportunity. If you don't have cash or cash flow, you're not going to be able to take advantage of the greatest sale in our lifetime. And mark my words on that, the greatest sale in our lifetime on financial assets of every type. That's right. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, go in, in real estate, folks. It's going to be just plunging, in my view. Uh, L.A. from California. Uh, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, uh, just I just want to uh, say I respect both you guys, but I think uh, Mr. Dent's missing the picture on oil coming down being uh, leading to a worse condition. 
That, that's exactly what I, you must have misunderstood what I said. I'm saying oil going down, especially this rapidly, is going to lead to worse conditions. It's a sign that the global economy is slowing. Caller, China, uh, I, I mean, I, I want to see what the caller said. I, I, I kind of missed it. Are you saying you think Dent doesn't think oil going down is bad, or are you thinking he thinks it's good? What, what are you saying? Well, I think that's missing, missing the point. Uh, yeah, oil comes down is going to be good in a lot of ways and bad in a lot of ways, but let's take oil out of the picture for a second. Uh, there's supposed to be other technologies coming online. I've, I've seen them on uh, news uh, about generators that can use uh, uh, different things in a much better way. Uh, that's got to be a good thing. Sure, sure. Oil I mean, have... new, and new technologies could be wild cards. The issue is they have to be scaled up. Even the quickest scaling takes, what, yeah. 10 years? Uh, so... Uh... No, 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 you're, you're right, Alex. It, it, he is right. It is a good, in, when you see inflation extremes or deflation extremes, it is going to promote radical new innovations, just like we got personal computers and cell phones out of the 70s. And we got the jet engine and, and radar and, and the computer out of the 30s and 40s. It will be good long term. He's right about that. But you're right. It takes decades for this stuff to scale up and make a difference. Once it's invented, a lot of alternative technologies are going to fail. Uh, electric cars, I, I wouldn't buy Tesla uh, at a dollar today. Um, that's going to fail if oil prices are $10, $20. And, and he's right, though. Some more radical technologies will emerge that can compete at lower oil prices. Sure, but that's 10 years down the road if this continues. Yeah. Yeah. L.A., thank you. A good point. John, Tim, Paul, Tony, your calls are coming up. Infowars.com, prisonplanet.tv. Check out the website, harrydent.com forward slash Alex Jones. You'll find the free chapter of his book, the free newsletter, and more. Stay with us. A lot of people's lives and bodies are out of balance. AlkaVision Plasma pH drops optimize pH level and get rid of harmful waste and acid. Just a few drops in water restores vibrance and energy and gets you back in balance. Now order two bottles and get $10 off your order. Sign up for monthly auto shipping and save 25%. Call 800-518-7615 or visit alkavision.com. Alkalize your body. Supercharge your health at alkavision.com. This is an alert. If your business or church is building this year, you're about to pay more than you should. This could mean thousands of dollars more for your office, retail space, church, or warehouse. A general steel building can save you as much as half the cost and time of similar conventional construction. And we're offering rebates of up to $20,000 to help you build today. Call General Steel for free information that could save you thousands. Call 866-91-STEEL. 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. Millions of people are going to get sick this winter from colds, flus, and other illnesses. Make sure you're not one of them. Protect yourself with Supernatural Silver, a revolutionary new product. Recent advances in silver technology have resulted in a silver solution that can be used daily to help prevent bacteria, viruses, and fungus. Supernatural Silver is safe enough to use daily while powerful enough to help your own immune system destroy the causes of many serious diseases. Supernatural Silver has the ability to terminate entire colonies of harmful bacteria at several hundred times the effectiveness of colloidal or ionic silver. The Science Digest Journal says silver is our mightiest germ fighter. It is virtually non-toxic and is emerging as a wonder of modern medicine. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com today and use the promo code SILVER2015 for 30% off. Give yourself and your loved ones a fighting chance with Supernatural Silver. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com.
The CDC just announced flu vaccines may have the wrong strain of flu virus. You may not be protected. Whatever your lifestyle, your immune system is critical and Immudine provides your immune support. Doctor recommended, stimulant free and not found in pharmacies. Go to Immudine.com to find out more or to place an order or call 866-257-8668. That's I-M-M-U-D-Y-N-E.com or 866-257-8668. Remember, Immudine is key support for your immune system. A little bit of overdrive to take more of your calls with our guest, Harry Dent. I'm Alex Jones. Nightly news tonight, 7 o'clock Central, for all the PrisonPlanet.tv viewers. Please don't forget, you can get 20 memberships for $2.50 a month right now. Each membership can be used by 20 people simultaneously. It's half off right now in the month of January. PrisonPlanet.tv, see the nightly news. This show in HD, so much more. PrisonPlanet.tv. TV. I want to thank all the members out there. You're making it possible. Uh, going back to our guest, uh, Harry Dent, research.com. Harry Dent. Harry, let's uh, go back to the calls. That, that's a whole show we should do, though, about what will innovate the economy, what could be done. The problem is so many old power structures in crony capitalism use big government regulation that they actually finance to shut down the innovation. Is there any doubt that we'd already be much more advanced if it wasn't for the crony capitalist operations? Yeah, no question. I mean, when I see the poorest countries in the world are the most corrupt, the most crony capitalism, the most government sponsored and run stuff and tribal leaders and stuff like that. One of the cycles we study, Alex, in addition to demographics and geopolitical and, and, and other things, is, is an innovation cycle that comes about every 45 years. You know, it's kind of like the steam engine and then steamships and then railroads and then autos and then computers. Literally every 45 years, these things economy and create a uh, higher productivity and a better standard of living and then there's a break after those until you get the next and, and we really the next big innovation cycle is going to be uh, by our calculations 2032 to 2055 it's a long way out we've already seen most of the benefits from the internet and personal computers and smartphones and cell phones and all and broadband and all this sort will of stuff. the move towards singularity accelerate and compress the cycles uh, no, I, I, I don't I don't think so. Uh, I think we're not going to see as much progress. The, the new technology, the, the caller earlier talking about innovation and energy, nanotechnology can produce stuff out of nothing, out of thin air. But that is decades away from here. Sure. These new technologies are germinating right now in niche markets, especially robotics biotech they're still not mainstream sure there's also a lot of fraud there it's going to take a while to suss yeah. out what's real john in california you're on the air go ahead congratulations harry you're about the only person that called for dollar power when everybody including this show is saying dollar devaluation and yeah. dollar collapse going forward i heard you on another interview a couple of years ago talk about what leader needed to be elected in 2016. We needed leadership to kind of lead us out of all of this failure in the past 10, 15 years. Can you talk about what's going forward in the 2016? Well, you know, I, I'm not a political expert, but these economic cycles obviously do affect politics. Right now, the common knowledge, just like it was in 2008 before the economy went down, was, oh, Hillary Clinton's the favorite on the Democratic side. Well, she bombed and Obama came out of nowhere and beat her. It was a, it was a dark horse. Same thing, Jeb Bush, the establishment uh, candidate from the Republicans. I don't think either of those are going to win in 2016. I think the economy is going to be very difficult, and people are going to go for people who are saying we got to change stuff, and, and but more effective than Obama. Obama talked change, but he couldn't make change. I think it will favor candidates more like Elizabeth Warren on the Democratic side or uh, Chris Christie on the Republican side. Chris Christie is the type of guy, I know he's got this kind of Tony Soprano image, but he's the type of guy that will tackle a problem and deal with it. That's what we're not doing. We're not tackling this debt problem. Yeah, you like him because he's a little more free market. I just can't stand his, his, his Democratic leanings when it comes to guns, but I hear what you're saying. Caller, just to be clear, we've had guests on here with a lot of different ideas. 
I believe the dollar will implode down the road, but it'll be the last to implode. It's like Helter Skelter. I'm coming down fast, but I'm miles above you. They're all racing to devalue, so that sends people back into the dollar. But the dollar down the road, I mean, I'm not an expert like Mr. Dent. I think it's going to collapse or something. In 20 seconds, long term, is the dollar stable, Mr. Dent? Yeah, no, no, I, I agree with you there, Alex. I see the dollar going up in this crisis. It's, it's the best house in a bad neighborhood, and deflation favors us. Down the roads, we will never be the leader we were after World War II or in the 90s. Let's come back in one minute and finish that statement. She call her, that's what I think. Another major health threat, this one in Toledo, Ohio, where everybody in the entire city has been told not to drink the water. Ohio's governor declaring a state of emergency. Did you know that the average person uses about 80 to 100 gallons of water at home every single day? If there's a water emergency, will you be prepared? Panicked residents forming long lines throughout the day. We're here at a supermarket in Toledo. You can see the shelves empty where water once was. To stay safe and healthy during a crisis, you must must have access to safe, clean water. Water which will not be available at your local grocery store. There's a mad dash on right now to stock up on supplies. The ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system is a must have for every modern, independently minded household. Protect your family's safety during an emergency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com today to purchase your ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system or call 1-88-253-3139. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Fix bayonets. We are now entering overdrive with your host, Alex Jones, broadcasting live from the front lines. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. I'm just having some fun. I'm trolling the trolls. It's up on Twitter at Real Alex Jones. Retweet it. Alex Jones retirement announced. <laughs> I'm not retiring. It's a joke. Uh, Harry Dent uh, is our guest. A final quick little segment with him. Finishing up with some callers. Uh, but I totally agree with what he's saying. The dollar is the best house in a bad neighborhood. And yeah, chances are it'll end up being dominant at the end, but then it'll go under. It's kind of like being on an island as the seawater raises. You're still the last guy standing, but if you don't have a boat, you're in deep trouble. Knowing about the crises that are coming and making preparation to then come out better on the other side, that's what protects you, in my view. Tony in Nevada, quick question or comment for our guest. Go ahead. Hey, how you doing? Um, yeah, I, I'm of the belief that dropping gas prices... Uh, is happening to further lull the masses to sleep, you know, by eliminating one of life's daily stresses. And I also understand the Middle East desire to stop the fracking industry here in the U.S., as it seems we very well could be or would have been energy independent very soon. Yeah, we were the number one producer in the world. Right, but what I don't understand is with the loss of jobs and the industry collapse that will certainly come from devastating the fracking industry, all the investors and all the people it's going to adversely affect, and we're talking multi-millions of people and probably trillions of investment dollars, do the globalists believe that the uproar this will create will somehow be balanced by the public sedation that's certainly going to occur as gas prices approach a dollar a gallon again? And is this another shoot them in the back while you're smiling to their face situation occurring? Well, yeah, yeah, it's just another thing that says, oh, everything's okay. It's not. This is a sign. This falling oil prices is a sign of slowing global demographics, yeah. excessive debt, overproduction of everything. We overexpanded. When you have too much debt, when sure. debt grows two to three times the economy, you're going to overexpand, overconsume, and have excess capacity, and that takes deflation to 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 wash it out and and you know Alex talking earlier all this corruption and crony capitalism and lobbying all of this stuff's going to be hit by this collapse so this is good thing long term lower oil prices lower home prices are good long term but when they reset and collapse all the debt behind them goes under and the industries behind them go under and it's going to cause chaos sure what I'm saying here is 
How do you survive this chaos to get to the other side when all these trends do cause greater... And that's why your book at uh, harrydent.com breaks down. Folks should get the demographic cliff and read it. or They're, they're crazy in my view. It's uh, just invaluable information and has been being proven right again and again. Uh, thank you, caller. Uh, last caller we have time for. I'm sorry the others. Uh, Tim in Florida, quick question or comment. Yes, uh, I just want to ask Mr. Dent if he could point out some of the dominoes that will fall. I see the gas thing the same way that you guys do, too good to be true, and it's just going to be more problems later down the road. But can you uh, point out some more of the, the signs to look for and also how the BRICS nations will uh, fall into all this? Well, you know, yeah, we talked about demographics getting worse in the United States in the coming years and in most countries especially in Germany and Southern Europe, which is already in trouble. But the bigger picture we've been painting against most even other crisis kind of people is that this emerging world thing, the commodities keep collapsing, and that hurts the emerging world. The emerging world is the only part of the world that has good demographics going forward with younger populations. But if commodity prices go down, that's where they make their money. That's where their best jobs and companies and banks that finance them come from. And, and when we look at the emerging countries, they correlate more, their stock markets correlate more with commodity prices than with U.S or European stock prices. So we're, we're saying this this fall in commodity prices is part of the crisis. It's going to get worse. Sure. I mean, in closing, the Saudis and others saw Russia and U.S. producers driving it down naturally. So they're just violently trying to ride away if they already know it's going down. I think to try to knock out competition to artificially bring it up higher later. But again, exploration, new technologies, I don't think that's going to help them. It's going to be interesting to see. Mr. Dent, uh, congratulations on your predictions coming true. We'll talk to you again soon. Thanks for the time. Okay, thank you, Alex. Powerful interview. Uh, great job to the crew. See you back tonight, 7 o'clock Central, InfoWars and Nightly News. You pick up the receiver with your heart racing and sweat dripping from your forehead. You finally muster the courage to dial the number to call into your favorite talk radio show. In our environment that is stressing our bodies more than ever before. Working with experts.